Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. So Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and find out what Oracle messages come out for you and what you need to know about your current situation, okay, for Scorpio. Scorpio, you're going to be just fine. <laughs> So there's something about you guys um, having an acceleration right now. A lot of you Scorpios really are destined for some type of success and accomplishment in your field or something that you really are, um, you know, attaining right now. Because I do feel some of you Scorpios may even be in the Six of Wands energy and you also are attracting a situation. So you've done the work. So we may need to just keep on releasing and keep releasing until you're feeling weightless. So some of you Scorpios, there may be something here with releasing the old or paying attention to what you're focused on or what your energy is um, or your even your, you know, where your mind is. Because um, for some of you Scorpios, there's there's something about release and letting go and surrendering here. So I feel there's a situation that um, is being handled and taken care of. And if there's any questions about your path um, and achievement, you just have to know that the more that you surrender and stay with the flow of the current, um, the faster you're gonna see your own development, the faster you're going to see um, a rising in your success in something that you're pursuing or something that you're destined to achieve or to have here, okay? Um, I am getting uh, air sign. I'm also getting a water sign coming through here. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, letting go and allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. And we do have this thing about Atlantis here. So there is something about um, ancient wisdom, awakening within, or there could be something about you um, involving yourself in uh, some type of studies or research or gaining knowledge um, and maybe history or things that are very sacred and uh, sentimental or spiritual for you, okay? But you do have to know that there's something about you having, a, um, having done the work here. So there just may be something here with uh, continue on working on releasing and letting go of the past. Um, for some of you Scorpios, you may need to hear this. You know, just try to pay attention to where your mind is and where your emotion levels are. Um, and release things, especially if you, you know, if you feel you've been uh, ruminating on thought, uh, ruminating on things or, um, you know, I do feel that there's something about just clearing your energy, okay? So you're getting guidance and help and um, support in your situation, but there, there could be a struggle with just uh, allowing one to just let go and surrender, okay? What else for Scorpio? So Scorpio, no matter when you get this um, vi video, if it resonates for you, then it's meant for you. Otherwise, if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, uh, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out the past oracle messages for zodiacs, or SOS readings, or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless, okay? Let's find out what else you need to know. Some of you guys, you might be feeling a little exhausted as well. I, I just see something about you guys excelling, but, um, you know, just pay attention to not getting yourself burnt out. Or if you're feeling burnt out, take some time and just allow yourself to surrender. Okay. We have travel. Nice. Some of you guys, there could be something here with travel. I mean, she is going with the flow of the current here. <laughs> Long distance communication will open up your life. So that's very interesting because I was getting something uh, for some of you Scorpios about accessing knowledge or researching, or maybe you're going to, maybe you'll be traveling um, or connecting to places that are very sacred, sacred or ancient or um, that have, you know, some type of meaning for you. Uh, that is very special. So I do see that there is perhaps some travel in your for, uh, in your future here. I was just going to say your fortune. So um, again, I am picking up six of wands energy. So I want to be surprised. A lot of you Scorpios, there's something going on with you excelling at something, um, allowing yourself to kind of rise up and stay focused on the things that are really growing and working in your life and stay with that. Um, there is uh, something for some of you Scorpios, if you are single out there or wanting to meet someone, exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Oh my goodness, there's a big, big thing about career advancement. Again, I am getting Six of Wands energy. 
um, Scorpio enjoy the limelight uh, I do feel that a lot of you Scorpios may be in this place and so it's like just enjoy the the limelight kind of go with the flow here some of you Scorpios you just need to know that keep releasing keep surrendering keep trusting in your abilities and what's happening with you and your path because I do see a lot of you guys really accelerating here um, and rising up in your situation okay so there's a big thing about career advancement, um, influence, receiving more abundance when it comes to your path here, okay? <clears throat> what else for Scorpio? I am getting more fire sign coming through. Um, well, I guess I didn't really say fire sign because I was saying uh, air and water with those, but I am picking up a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there's some type of opportunity here, um, Scorpio. So yeah, keep maintaining your position. Keep allowing yourself to surrender. When you guys find a struggle or you're feeling some type of block or you're feeling like your mind is going crazy, that's the time to have awareness and just let go. Allow a higher force to take charge for a time. Maybe for some of you guys, there would be something good about being in water and um, practice floating in water and allow yourself to trust, okay? Let's see. What else for Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio, you are going to be experiencing something very beautiful here. There is going to be a sense of real owning your own independence, your own divine sensuality. I do feel a lot of you guys, there's something about you connecting with another here. Um, and also connecting, there's something about you connecting for a lot of you Scorpios with your career or something that you... Are finding very purposeful there is something about you guys really connecting to that divine aspect of yourself and and what you're feeling passionate about um, and with spirit here but there's also a situation of some type of freedom when it comes to expressing oneself um, sexually and really indulging in divine sensuality um, making love and really indulging in erotica here so there may be some focus on your own um, health and well-being and also um, working on um, and indulging in your own divine sensuality here because I do see a situation I was picking up for some of you singles out there or that are already connected uh, there's a situation of really experiencing um, you know a higher levels of love making erotica sensuality intimacy um, we have escape from captivity and restriction. Yeah, I do feel that there's something about you guys really releasing something from the past, but also this could even be happening currently where we're being guided towards more freedom, um, more self-expression, more confidence in oneself. Um, I do feel for some of you Scorpios, you're really uh, leaving a situation where um, for some of you guys, there's a, a feeling of rising up from... Um, you know conventional ways of doing and being you know like you have to be with someone you have to be married you have to obey you got to do it this way uh, it doesn't necessarily you know have to be a relationship it could be with your work or how you you know tradition or what not but I see something about you guys really um, having some type of uh, rapid development and success and really finding your own um, freedom and self-expression here so I do see a sense of you connecting with another, okay, um, and experiencing um, a sense of uh, freedom, a sense of um, some type of new emotional um, experience here, and also um, physical and sensual uh, experiences as well that are going to bring great pleasures for you. What else for Scorpio? yourself go for what you want the time see oh my goodness okay there <laughs> the time is ripe for a soulmate connections birth of a child is also likely so there is something about fertility here so if you don't you know for those that are fertile <laughs> just be careful because we do have love making and erotica something about you know the time is ripe for a soul for soulmate connections or to deepen your soulmate connection okay so assert yourself again there's more like air sign coming through some of you scorpios you're gonna have to go for what you want right so keep releasing the past allow yourself to drift into new territories new experiences um, for some of you guys to a new connection here okay 
and don't be afraid to go for what you want because you might just have to really let your int intentions be known um what else Yeah, I really feel for a lot of you Scorpios that are, um, you know, uh, really uh, feeling uh, like, you know, the next step for you is connecting with another, um, you know, because there is a lot of focus here on your development as well, your personal growth, your spiritual growth, your career, you know, advancement, whatever it is. But, you know, there is a strong thing about you connecting with another as well for a lot of you guys are having a bond that's strengthened here. Um, and really experiencing divine sensuality and really releasing guilt, worry, shame, or things that um, may even be put on you by other beliefs or how, you know, society is um, and just really coming into your own, okay? So I love what's happening with your energy, actually. Oh my goodness, a change. Yeah, th there's just something about you guys having a transition. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is, in, is on the cards. So connections, relationships, soulmates, okay, career, there's some type of positive change, so keep releasing, keep letting go, um, you're restless, okay, Scorpio, so yeah, you're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way, so experience it, okay, be a part of what the universe is um, guiding you and um, wanting you to surrender to here. So you really are restless and you're ready for change. And that's exactly what's coming your way, Scorpio. Okay. What else? So for some of you Scorpios, uh, there could be an, um, something about you having a change of scenery as well. Okay. Because I'm seeing something about travel, um, maybe taking trips or short trips or you know, just doing something a little different here. What else for Scorpio? Oh, Scorpio. Yeah, there's definitely something long-term for you in the next phase of what's happening with this big change or whether it's a big or small change. It is, you know, I would say it is a pretty significant change because you're talking about um your environment your home residence partner a career okay something and that's exactly what's happening here so there's something about you guys um really a, being at this place of a drift and allowing higher force to uh, take charge for a time libra energy is coming because i'm seeing something that is going to be um very long term for you there is something about you coming into a situation that is balanced right because there has been something that has happened in the past here um, and you're ready for this next thing. So something is being, there's something about karma being uh, played out um, and, and receiving exactly what you need, okay? So I do feel that there's a strong thing with a connection with a soulmate here um, as well, soul contract with another here, okay? A sacred soul contract, spiritual, We've got this divine sensuality here. So um, for some of you Scorpios, there could have been or a experiencing right now for some, not all of you with um, maybe separating yourself from current situations and people. There could be some legal things um, happening, but <clears throat> there's something that is just destined for you at this time. So, you know, Scorpio, we do have this thing about asserting yourself. You need to go for what you want. You need to trust in what is right for you. Um, you need to stay in alignment with what you guys are feeling, um, you know, won't put you out of integrity or out of alignment here, okay? Because I do see something about you guys receiving exactly what is fair for you at this time. What else? Visions. Ooh, look at this psychic images so i mean it's not surprising scorpio because you really are um very intuitive psychic so yes this is just more about you guys seeing something or um, experiencing something on an intuitive level here there could be something with telepathy here um, and kind of like feeling uh, a situation or someone here um, that is destined for you uh, to be in a connection with psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing and out of body uh, travel, more things about travel as well. I do feel there may be something significant with receiving um, healing messages um, and also visions 
um, in your dream state. So pay attention to that, okay? So this could be a time of having to just trust your own self and it could be very uncomfortable, but try to seek your, you know, seek time out, seek some time to uh, be playful with yourself um, because, you know, spirit wants you to relax here, let go and allow a higher force to take charge for a time. You've done the work, okay? It's happening here. What else? And what I love is you've got this justice card. We've got something about, for some of you guys, really releasing yourself from a situation or even a person here that we might feel restricted by, um, you know, feeling a sense of captivity here. But there's a rescue. There's a plan. There's a, there's a, you know, something being made right here to bring balance. Simplify your life and your, okay, you guys are going to find the answer. There is, um, you know, Scorpio. I do feel a lot of you Scorpios have strong um, air placements in your chart, uh, but it doesn't matter. Simplify your life and the answer you seek will appear. So this might be a time here. We're taking on this justice card of really standing in your own, knowing what's right for you, um, getting rid of maybe old things or, you know, things that could just be, um, you know, holding you back in the past. So uh, there could be something about delegating here because I'm getting something for some of you guys with being a little bit burnt out or tired here, right? And, and there may be this thing where you've got to make decisions to make room for something new here um, and, and balancing, you know, your play life, your work life, um, you know, all these different roles, but having it uh, being, uh, you know, a little bit more balance here, but I do feel there's also something about you guys making room for something new here and you will get the answer that you guys need, okay? So just start simplifying your life, assert yourself in, in situations where you need to, okay? Don't be afraid to let go of the old stuff or things, people. <laughs> You are being, you are a being of the universe. Feel the connection. You are never alone. See, this is the thing. You're never alone. I mean, very first cards that came out was letting go and allowing a higher force to take charge for a time here. Okay. Spirit wants you to really feel, um, you know, you riding on spirits back here and trusting. What else? There could be um, a lot of messages coming from spirit here. So, yeah, I mean, pay attention to your psychic images, you know, what you're hearing, feeling on an intuitive level. Don't try to figure things out all at once. Just let things kind of come to you because there is answers um, or things that you're going to be seeing very clearly, okay? But you may just need to you know, simplify, make room. And the abundant universe will provide I am seeing you guys having some type of opportunity. It could be work. It could be just some type of um, thing that could really be um, long term and really be abundant for you. So spirit really is telling you, you really are not alone. You're a being of the universe. I mean, look at this. You're a being of the universe. Feel the connection. You're never alone. The abundant universe will provide. So there may be a need too to simplify and clean up. The thought processes as well because if some of you guys you may be challenged here with really looking at um things being provided for you in abundant uh in an abundant way here so spirit is really confirming for you that you guys really have done something wonderful yes it was challenging for a lot of you guys but you've completed something here and so now you're getting ready to receive but are you open to receiving okay so um, you, there's something about trusting and getting, you know, trusting in what you will be receiving here because it is tangible. I am getting Ace of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. So there could be something very secure and, and long term for you um, with the potential of being very prosperous. OK, so do your you do your dealings in a fair and honest way and spirit is going to provide for you. What else? For some of you guys, there could be something with getting your uh, getting money right or, or getting things um, level or equal or balanced. 
your garden is a healing place so seek refuge there to heal your soul so i do feel there is time to be very playful connect with nature here maybe some of you guys have a garden or you just need to go out um, and get some fresh air change the scenery maybe for some you've been indoors too long connect with nature look at it feel it touch it you know maybe put your feet on some grass or sand whatever you can do um, there's something about you guys really releasing and allowing uh, mother nature and the universe to heal your soul okay so there's nothing that you need to seek outside of yourself it's within you what else Four of Swords. Hi, more things about healing here. Wow. There is something that's going to be healed when it comes to um, uh, feeling uh, very comfortable in one skin and expressing um, with yourself and another when the time comes. But make sure, I do feel that there really needs to be a time right now to make decisions that are really going to bring you balance. Um, a sense of not putting yourself out of integrity, saying no to the things or people that you need to say no to so that you can say yes to the things that you need to say yes to. <clears throat> Take time to honor yourself. You know, look at this. We've got your garden is a healing place. Seek refuge there to heal your soul. And we've got the four of swords here. This is a card of healing your soul, okay? Getting the much needed rest if you need to, right? Because spirit is saying, please, Scorpio, don't overdo it lay back relax rest for a minute okay let the universe take charge for a time and not only that but you've got this thing about visions here and if you notice they're on a bed resting you know meditating contemplating dreaming okay so that is essential for you right now what else Okay, more with this, like the Buffalo spirit. I'm picking up the Ace of Pentacles. We got this opportunity. It's it's solid and real. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected time. Here is justice, okay? You are going to be provided for. The universe will provide for you. You're not alone. There's no use for looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times for you. So let it go don't figure it out just know it is going to arrive at the right time getting more earth sign energy coming through and oh my goodness look at this what does it say self-care okay tend to your garden oh my goodness it's even coming out of two different decks here <laughs> so there's something you know for some of you scorpios <clears throat> you know, connect to your garden, or maybe for some of you guys, maybe it's time to, you know, learn about gardening or, you know, get a, get a plant, put a plant next to you for some of you guys, right? If you're not feeling like you're close to nature, um, self-care, tend to your garden. This is about you taking care of your body here, right? So that we can feel good, comfortable, and confident with our own sensuality and sexuality. Tend to your garden and take care of yourself this is what spirit is saying right don't do things that overdo things or put you out of alignment here let go delegate if you need to assert yourself go for what you want self-care look at this self-care give yourself permission without feeling guilty what else You're headed for passion, by the way. <laughs> like an eagle, it's time to soar. Do not fear that you will fall. Oh boy, here, here it is. Some of you guys, there may be some type of significant thing with contracts as well, um, opportunities when it comes to your work. So, um, you know, pay attention to details. Um, you know, again, making decisions that are uh, fair and honest and right for you and others involved and you won't go wrong, but notice in this Atlantis card we're rising up here so like an eagle it's your time to soar 
Spirit is saying it really is time for you to shine bright. And if it means you need to shine bright by yourself without others involved, then allow that to be for the time being, okay? So it's time for you to just rise up and be noticed, okay? Uh, to enjoy the limelight, to enjoy some type of success. And don't fear that you will fall. So trust in your abilities, trust in your gifts, trust in your talents, more importantly, trust that you really are riding on spirits back here. And a lot of you guys really do um, have such a strong connection. I mean, with his visions and, um, you know, the connection with spirit here. So you really are being divinely guided in your life. What else? Take oh my goodness okay this is just too much it's just so funny you got the four of swords taking time out here challenges so take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse okay i see a situation for a lot of you guys having some type of resolve some type of forgiveness for some of you guys in a situation where there could have been you know, hurt, backstabbing, um, <clears throat> heartbreak, you know, or something has very been very challenging and we, we have to put something, we have to put the swords down, we got to put things down, we got to refocus. So spirit is, saying, spirit is saying you're better off letting go and just kind of letting patience and um, silence be your ally at this time uh, because take time out, right? Taking time out from problems or conflicts and approach it soft or approach it softly that's some some of you guys have to hear that approach approaching something softly here right being unbiased in a situation coming from an objective point of view to avoid making matters worse so you know if some of you guys if you're feeling challenged or you feel like um if you're gonna approach something and it might make it worse and just back off and allow it to um you know, allow spirit to, um, and time to handle a situation because there's something about a lot of you guys getting the answer. Whoops. Yeah. Getting the answer that you need in a situation, especially if it's, there've been challenges and conflicts here. Okay. What else for uh, Scorpio? Yeah, I feel that there is a time to, oh my goodness, Scorpio, this really is a time to declutter um, and get rid of old things for a lot of you guys because something new is wanting to come into your life. So for some of you guys, we've got this crane bag. There may be something here, especially with the psychic images, um, clairvoyance, um, having a, a strong connection to nature, um, and also items that, you know, may hold special powers or amplify energy. So, you know, you're being asked to, you know, utilize that, take it with you, do what you guys got to do to help make you guys feel aligned, um, grounded. But there's something about having choices and asserting self. We do have clutter and declutter. Now, this is coming through very strong. Simplify your life and the answers you seek will appear. So there is a strong need to let go of old correspondence, old things, old ideas, maybe declutter your um, environment, whatever it is, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you might be ready to even let go of old sacred items that maybe once you felt were sacred, but now it's like, you know, it's time to move on from those things as well, okay? Because you got new things here. Um, but take what you need. The thing about the crane bag is taking those things that you treasure and honor and just letting go of the rest, okay? What else? <clears throat> yeah, I just felt like this one really wanted to show itself. Oh my goodness, I really feel there's this unveiling of you really um, unveiling this real authentic, true self of you, okay? Really rising up. Um, allowing yourself to be free um, with, you know, expressing, how, you know, what and who you want to be and emanate here, reclaiming your authentici uh, authenticity. I mean, I love this because we even have the justice card here. Grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. Here's justice card. So there's something about you guys really holding this energy and coming into an energy of really reclaiming 
and revealing your authenticity and not being afraid of who and what you are. Being unique and different among others, but being real and rare and allowing that sh to shine. There is something, you know, I, I just keep getting this thing about Six of Wands energy and this thing about you, you know, rising up and being noticed here. So there's something about your beauty. Um, and it doesn't mean to focus on your outward appearances, but there's something about this unveiling and this really coming into your own here um, and allowing yourself freedom, okay, from others' expectations, just doing what you want to do and, you know, you being who you want to be. Um, so there is this thing about you guys really having transformation here. So take time to rest. I do feel you guys have done something and completed something and now... You're really just assimilating and being uh, this thing of grace, this beauty of grace here, okay? Loveliness. What else? Trust in the magic, white raven spirit. So going back to the four of swords energy, believing in um, opportunity, letting go, right? And allowing a higher force. So that's part of you really trusting in magic right now is um, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time, okay? And to be open to um, different things that pop up on your path here. There's going to be things that you're not going to expect. So I would say quit for some of you guys, let go of the control of trying to figure something out here because the more that you don't expect something, the easier these answers and resources and um, abundance really appears. So trust in the magic, even if it means um, you've got to take your focus on, off of things, um, reset yourself because there's something about having a reset here um, and just allowing yourself to um, come back to a place of innocence and magic. Okay. What else? I see a lot of you guys, uh, Scorpio, really doing a good job with self-care and allowing yourself to really um, shine bright and illuminate yourself and really come into connections that are really um, meant for you, okay? It's like your tribe, your soulmate. Hidden depths, you only see the surface. Look beyond. I was just talking about a thing, yeah, looking beyond the surface. So there's more going on than you realize, uh, Scorpio. So don't pay attention to the surface. This is kind of what we were talking about with trust in the magic, right? Believing in the unseen. I mean, we've got this moon energy card here as well. So yes, things are a mystery. Things could be very uncomfortable, but you only see the surface. Look beyond. This is why take time to really recharge, reconnect, meditate, uh, paying attention to the visions, right? Opening yourself up to your spiritual gifts and abilities here and trusting that because there's more going on than that's happening on the surface. Look beyond. What else? What you are waiting for. <laughs> what are you waiting for? The life you dreamed of awaits you. Very interesting because we even have the card of dreams here. Or this is kind of what I was getting. Well, I thought there was a thing about dreaming. Well, the four of swords. Oh, I was talking about the dreaming. So what are you waiting for? So Scorpio, just let go of things. Allow a higher force to take charge for a time. Um, you know, pay attention to what's going on with you and around you. But there, there's an opportunity because I'm getting this Ace of Pentacles energy. So it's only a matter of time here. So when the opportunity comes, right? I mean, you're getting it out of two different, you know, go for what you want. The time is right for a soulmate connections or a birth of a new project or birth of something new that's going to really rise you up in a situation. So trust it, okay? And take it, right? There may be something here where you know, a hesitancy or distrust could be a block. Okay. So just pay attention to that. You don't want that opportunity to go by. What else? <clears throat> yeah, you're going to get 
something's going to happen when it comes to your love life and romance and, and having something ignited here. Love, oh yeah, oh my goodness. I mean, we got making love and erotica. Hello, hello. Love is set to sizzle. I mean, I know there's not going, a lot going on with that four of swords. What is this card doing? Yeah, dream the world into being. We were just talking about dreams and this card just wants to come out here. So um, let's talk about this. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. So for those seeking a connection or to deepen a connection, stay positive. Stay optimistic about your romantic and love life, okay? <laughs> it's it's going to happen. And it's, there's, it, there's some type of dream that is coming into being here, okay? So dream the world into being, right? Again, maybe take time to refocus where you want to focus your your energy but you have to really trust right trust in the magic wherever that yeah trust in the magic the uh, the abundant universe will provide for your your dream to really become a reality what else yeah i see you guys having a sense of like um a powerful regeneration it's like you're you're regenerating yourself from the um some past situation here so there's something that's going to be revealed for you guys there there's just going to be a new sense of yourself that that you're going to see for the first time too and you're going to love it okay go within and find your inner peace <laughs> problems resolve when you listen to your inner self oh my goodness see justice there's some type of resolve here, so trust. Again, going within, okay? Um, some of you guys, you need to let go, withdraw, retreat, do whatever you guys got to do in order to really overcome a challenge because, again, take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worth, worse, right? Going within and find your inner peace. Problems resolve when you listen to your inner self, okay? Take time. You will get the answers. You're going to get the resolve here in your situation. See, so you're not being left alone and you're not being left without some type of solution. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping Scorpio. <clears throat> how is spirit helping Scorpio? I do feel a lot of, there's a, there's, well, I just was going to say, there's something about some of you Scorpios really releasing yourself from feeling restricted of really expressing what you feel is comfortable in, in, within you, in your own skin, okay? And being bold and um, living your life wild and free. How is spirit helping Scorpio? How is spirit helping Scorpio? Well, yeah, I mean, yes, care. L listen to this, Scorpio. <clears throat> listen to this. Spirit's going to help you guys with caring for yourself. Care is required, but also there's something about you, you Scorpios, really listening to what's going on with yourself right now, okay? Taking time out to really recharge yourself for a lot of self-care. There's a lot of care required here. But listen, for some of you Scorpio, Spirit's helping you, you guard yourself against deception, okay? And being careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. So Spirit is helping you guys, Scorpio, healing a situation where there's a lot of challenges and not making matters worse here and taking care of yourself and doing the things that you know are required and a priority at this time so things are really lining up in the right order the right synchronistic so the synchronistic events can happen okay to where you're not feeling like you're going up uh, a current upstream here you're you're just drifting okay so spirit really is helping you guys get the care that's required and also overcome anything and also to guard yourself from making foolish mistakes or from deception from others or others making foolish mistakes onto you okay which means for some of you scorpios there may be some maybe hard decisions in a situation because we've got to be really honest with ourselves um and, and what we're willing to compromise and what we're not willing to compromise okay but a situation is really coming into balance in your favor here 
Okay, Scorpio, so trust that spirit really is helping you. Um, I feel like I got to get one more. Surprises? <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. So just remember, there was something about, um, okay, listen, this is so cute. Spirit really is helping you guys. <laughs> Guarding yourself against what you don't need um, and really seizing an opportunity here. Venture down the rabbit hole. You're, go you're, you're going to have some type of unexpected luck and surprises, okay? So don't be afraid to venture down the rabbit hole to do something a little different here and seize the opportunity, okay? When it feels right, do it. Don't overthink something. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.